Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We bring on the best bloggers, broadcasters, and writers in the nation. Discussion, debate, and analysis every day. That's our mission. So please lock it in right here. If you subscribe, hit that bell for the notifications. That way you know when we're going live, which is every day, typically multiple times per day. We got Clayton Safey on the line from the Wolverine Mag on Rivals. So not everything was Joe Milton's fault. Part of that was a lack of a running game, which had a high ceiling and high expectations with four running backs coming back and two in particular, Hassan Haskins and Zach Charbonnet, that um, that were effective last year. Uh, despite losing four offensive linemen, Jalen Mayfield was back, and the, the other four guys had experience and time in the program and minutes on the field. So any thoughts about why the running game has been so dismal for most of the season? Yeah, so we were impressed uh, after the Minnesota game, and we can talk about that game as kind of a completely different season. It feels like it was two years ago at this point. Um, because of how different things are now. But I, I'd say the number one thing is the injuries on the offensive line, um, you know, not to, to make an excuse for Michigan because there's really no excuse for combining for 60 total rushing yards in the Indiana and Wisconsin games combined. Um, but Jalen Mayfield, like you mentioned, is a kid who's probably going to be picked uh, within the first three, four rounds at the very least um, in April. Um and then you had to do some some shifting. You also lost lost your left tackle and Ryan Hayes. This past game, they were without their starting center, fifth year senior Andrew Vistardis. So they're playing some young guys that have a lot of promise. And Ed Warner, the offensive line coach, has done a really good job bringing some of his recruits in since he took over in 2018. Um, so a lot of promise with these guys, but it's not the experience like you talked about. You you were you know coming in with four new starters to begin with, um, but. Or, yeah, so four new starters to begin with, but they didn't have that kind of experience. Now you're going to guys that were behind those guys uh, and don't have any experience, really. Uh, they've stepped in and done okay pass blocking. I really like you know the way some guys have stepped in. Zach Zinter is a true freshman playing right guard right now, and I think he could, if Michigan gets healthier, you can move him over and he could actually replace the starting left guard, Chuck Filiaga, and do probably even better uh, from what we've seen. But... Um, I'd start with the offensive line. Secondly, I think the the running back rotation has been very bad, uh, to be completely honest, through the first four games of the season. And it was one of the big complaints with Michigan fans through the first four games. Hassan Haskins, through the first four games, was averaging 7.8 yards a carry. And he got one touch uh, against Wisconsin the week prior. Now, they had to abandon the game or, or the run game early in that game. But still, one touch, seven snaps. Uh, he gets 22 touches last week, 110 yards, game-winning touchdown, goes over the top for the win in triple overtime. He's your guy there. I do think that the other guys have have good skill sets. Zach Charbonnet is a guy who came in and had success in that second half last week. Uh, they all have a role, but I'm giving Hassan Haskins the ball 15 times a game. Uh, and, you know, if he proves that he's not having a good game, you do have other options. But why rotate with just no intent there? Uh, why not go with the guy who's the hot hand? And it seems like that they're a little more willing to do that as of late. So I'd say the two factors play into it. The injured offensive line, the fact that the coaching staff has just made a huge blunder by rotating the backs, even though you have a clear number one guy and a clear number two guy in Hassan Haskins and Zach Charbonnet, respectively. Um, so stick with that and, and see what happens. I think the offensive line is getting a little better by week. Uh, even the young guys, but if you get healthier, and we think Jalen Mayfield and Ryan Hayes could possibly come back this week against Penn State, uh, then the running game could become, you know, something that can really help out a young quarterback in Cade Madden there. 